there are plenty of people in technology that want to do uh, something more than move the stock price at their private company. And we have to find those folks that really want to be part of the public sector and all the good that we're doing. And then we have to put them in positions where they can make a difference. And that attracts people, even though we might not pay the same way as the private sector or some of the other sectors. There are plenty of folks with the skills we need that we need to attract. The key is finding them and attracting them, not that they don't exist. And so we look really hard. I spend a lot of time on uh, out at academic uh, institutions telling people about the amazing work that happens in government. And you know, almost trying to catch them with, uh, you know, just give it a two-year stint, kind of like the Peace Corps uh, sales process, uh, because I know that once they're in, we have a good chance of hooking them for a long time. And and then part of that is creating an environment in which they can innovate. I don't think of my department as being a department of I, of technology. It's a department of innovation and getting people excited about that and being part of that and the good we can do uh, within government. Yeah, so on the downside, there's pay, right? We don't pay as much. On the upside, we have things like we're a fully remote workforce and that's attracting a certain kind of person who, as long as you live in Colorado, you can work for the state's IT department and you can do good things and you can go skiing every weekend without having to make that drive because you can live in Vail. So there, you know, there's a lot of upside. Um.